I'm Carl Anthony with AutoSense TV. We're here for AutoSense Brussels 2019 and we've returned to the renowned Auto World Museum. We're speaking today with Cliff DeLocht from Malexis. Cliff, so good of you to be with us today. Hi, thank you, it's good to be here. Why is time of flight so appealing to the industry? Yeah, so Malexis started uh, with uh, the time of flight development many, many years ago uh, because there were problems like the sunlight robustness that had to be solved. We took the time to solve those uh, those problems and now we are uh, recently uh, we launched our third generation uh, of time of flight uh, sensors that go in a variety of, uh, of use cases uh, so interior use cases so in cabin monitoring driver sensing and so on uh, but also exterior use cases so let's start with the interior use cases tell us cliff about some interior use cases for time of flight Okay, so our first um, um, production of time of flight, uh, by the way, we were there, the world's first uh, to go with time of flight in uh, high volume production uh, with the premium European uh, OEM. Um, and that main use case was a uh, gesture. Uh, a recognition so looking at the hands and then the hands interacting with the car so that the car takes action uh, for instance like the ro rotation movement uh, or the pointing movement that uh, the car then calls for instance uh, or uh, increases the, the volume of the radio uh, of, or of the voice uh, and so on and so on so everything around gesture it started with that uh, the success of time of flight and automotive Meanwhile, we see that there is uh, a lot of interest for much more use cases uh, in cabin. Um, the trend is that the field of view of the camera, what the camera actually sees in the car, it started from a narrow field of view, only looking at the hands, that is widening. And so now, uh, the time of flight cameras nowadays, they're also able to see the head, so for head pose uh, kind of applications, and that is what we have on demo here at AutoSense. Uh, but you can also look at the eyes, for, for instance, eye gaze. Uh, yeah, look at uh, the whole body for uh, knowing the body position uh, in, in the car. So that's one group of use cases. A second group of use cases is around people identification, uh, object identification, child seat detection, and that is important for when you uh, inflate the airbag, sure. so for smart airbag inflation. Uh, and then also applications like seat belt detection, uh, but also the action of actually putting the seat belt, not being able to fake uh, or to uh, uh, mislead uh, the system anymore. So those, I would say, groups of use cases, we see a lot of interest uh, nowadays. It seems like that's evolving, the interior use cases. Um, going forward, what do you visualize? What kind of future use cases could you see if you had a guess? Yeah, so most of the use cases that I just mentioned uh, are in the making. Uh, so these are really uh, the uh, new use cases. If you see what's in production today, it's uh, more about gesture and then a second a camera for looking at the eyes. Uh, but those uh, use cases I mentioned, they are more and more converging into a, s a single uh, sensor, which of course brings a cost efficiency if you do all those cases uh, yeah, with one system. So Cliff, obviously a lot of robust use cases for the interior. What about for the exterior of the vehicle? Is there any application there? Yeah, exterior, um, indeed, that is a, a parallel track uh, that uh, looks promising. We are involved in multiple projects, uh, actually, with customers who want to see what is actually happening right next to the car. Uh, so in, in, in the close range, a few meters uh, around the car. Uh, a lot of attention uh, in the press is going to looking very far, uh, looking 100 meters and, 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 and so on. Sure, sure. But when a car drives automatically, auto autonomously, it's also important that the car knows immediately what's, what's happening in front of its wheels. Uh, in matter of fact, and their time of flight can also be a very promising technology and, like I said, multiple projects ongoing. Uh, now, when we were speaking off-camera, Cliff, you mentioned that the Time of Flight family at Malexis is growing. It's a growing portfolio. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, last year um, we launched uh, our third ge generation of Time of Flight sensors um, with a VGA resolution uh, part, so that is uh, 640 by 480 pixels, if you count that, if you 
do the multiplication, it's uh, 300,000 pixels. Um, so in the same family with the same technology, the same pixel, we are now launching uh, a part that has a quarter VGA, so a, bit, uh, a little less resolution and that's really for making cost-effective um, systems uh, with maybe a little bit less use cases um, but there our customers what they like is that they now can have a roadmap from a system with, with limited use cases based on quarter VGA and then a very easy migration to a higher-end system uh, based on the VGA uh, res resolution with many many uh, use cases. Cliff, we want to thank you for your time here and for being with us. Do you have any final thoughts to add? Um, yeah, just the thought that I think uh, many people will also say that this, that the, the future looks promising. Um, the autonomous driving is going uh, slowly but gradually, uh, step by step further. And uh, we hope that the time of flight uh, technology and our uh, solutions for that, that they will help building uh, a safer world uh, and also a world that is maybe for uh, the driver also more comfortable if you compare it to uh, today. So that's a bit our wish and that's also uh, one of the reasons I would say why, why we are here and why we are doing this. Cliff, we want to thank you for being our guest today. From all of us here at AutoSense TV, we want to wish you a good show and good luck here in Brussels. Okay, thank you guys. Speaking today with Cliff from Malexis, talking about the importance and the appeal and the use cases of time of flight sensors. For more AutoSense TV and for more AutoSense Brussels, like, subscribe, and share.